Hi guys, Anthony from The Hot End. Um, just thought I'd give you a little tour of the OctoPrint interface for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, in case you're not aware, OctoPrint is a piece of software that you install on a Raspberry Pi that allows remote printing control over your 3D printer. If your Raspberry Pi has a wireless dongle, then you have a wireless printer and it also has slicing capabilities built in. So you can just drop an STL into the interface it will slice it up and print it for you. Okay, so this is the main screen that you get when you first log in. Oh, I haven't logged in yet. Okay, so we've got our temperature graph. Uh, we're sitting at 200 degrees uh, for the hot end and the bed is sitting at 70 degrees. This is a list of all the STL files that I've uh, copied over to the Raspberry Pi and this is the current print that's uh, doing now so you can see it's got 16 hours to go so if we just log in now we have full control we can pause the print, cancel, start, stop upload STL files and um, these are all the prints that I've done recently uh, under the control tab, you get a nice uh, HD video of what's happening on the printer right now. So I'm actually in the process of printing a, uh, I think it's called a Venetian mask. Anyway, you'll see that in the next video. Um, on here you've also got manual control. So you've got your X up, uh, down, left, right, uh, your, your Z home, and all your controls here. Uh, under the terminal tab you can see all the g-code that is being sent to your printer in real time which is kind of cool time lapse this is how I do a lot of my time lapse videos that you've seen uh, I've got it set to take a photo every time there's a z-axis change uh, and it's going to pump it out at 25 frames a second and at the very end it's going to have a two second delay of just um, nothing just waiting for two seconds printer statistics this is an add-on that I installed uh, it shows you the amount of connections uh, the printed the total completed prints the fails the cancels everything it's all here print statistics more here just a different graph so 85 prints were printed uh, what's this one 57 completed 41 or is it 41 completed I don't know anyway it's just interesting and apparently it's got the power usage here I don't know how it really works that out but whatever uh, and the STL viewer so if we I don't know, upload a file for instance, we can see the STL file here before we actually print it and slice it up. So if we go to the settings tab now, uh, you've got your connection settings from the uh, Raspberry Pi to the printer. Uh, and then your basic settings here of the temperature intervals, the SD card status updates, the connection timeouts, etc, etc. In here you set up your profiles for your different um, 3D printers which will have in there the if it's got a heated bed, bed size, uh, dual extruder, single extruder, etc. You can set up your temperature presets for ABS, PLA and whatever else you need. So if we know we're going to do an ABS print soon we can tell it to preheat our ABS which will go extruder 210, bed 100. Um, we can add in here extra scripting for our g-code so instead of putting it into Cura or Slicer or Simplify 3D we can actually put it straight into here into OctoPrint so at the end of a print it will say move the z-axis up a smidge and then home the x and y so you don't have a hot nozzle sitting on top of your print burying a hole in it um, and you can also have it on start so you can 
extrude a little bit before the print starts just to prime the nozzle. Under features, you've got a G-code visualizer which actually visualizes where the print is up to currently, but with this enabled it is a little bit buggy so I tend to leave that off for stability. Uh, you can you can read the rest here, that's all just standard. Uh, I, I actually paid for the uh, Raspberry, Pi, Raspberry Pi standard uh, camera which is about 30 US dollars I think. Uh, it just works straight away, no drivers, nothing, just plug it in. Uh, and this is just saying where that it's going to stream to and if we want to you know the uh, watermark in the image or whatever access control we can add individual users to this we've got an eight API hookup if you want to write your own code um, just basic commands here of all your temporary storage locations time-lapse folders upload folders you can choose the color so that you can have multiple Raspberry Pis all set up with different octoprints and you can set them all with a different color so you can identify your printers. Log files, uh, your plugin manager, so you can see here that I've got the Cura engine installed and uh, there's also the Slicer engine installed as well I believe. So what that means is when I, well, I'll show you now, if I go to upload, instead of uploading G-code, if I up, upload an STL file, uh, if I can just find one, there'll be one here somewhere. Uh, 3D printing models, okay, there'll be an STL file here. <coughs> so, I'll get rid of Simplify 3D. So if I dump over a STL file instead of G-code, now we get to choose our slicer. Oh, it looks like I've only got Cure installed. Uh, so you set up your slicing profiles, tell it what printer you're going to use, and then uh, this will actually just slice it up and print it for you so you don't need to have Cura installed locally or any computer really at all you could do all this from an iPad or something so you just download your uh, STL file from Thingiverse or Maker Factory or whatever upload it straight away to your um, printer via Octoprint it will slice it for you and print it for you which is pretty cool okay um, so in here you can also have it uh, email you when the print's completed and there's also a, a variety of other um, add-ons that you can install to do different things. So for instance the uh, Cura engine we can set that up, email notifier so I'll send you an email when it's finished, printed statistics you can put in your how usage so it gets an accurate uh, measure for the graphs, graphs, graph, graph, whatever. Under the system menu, you can shut it all down. You can reboot the Raspberry Pi, which is running, uh, I think it's Raspbian, Raspbian. Uh, or you can just restart the Octoprint service. So, since I've been using this, I have not had to manually uh, slice a file locally on my machine and then put in an SD card and then put the SD card in the printer and then hit print and it sounds just too hard. With this you just drag the file over, dump it into Octoprint, hit print, bang it's done. Anyway, uh, I might do a part two on this on how to install it and uh, configure it from scratch but I uh, hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Sorry if my audio is a bit out of sync, I'm using a new software to do the screen capture. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it there for now. Any questions, please just chuck them in the comments below. Cheers, guys.